Johnny was a funny, charismatic, really smart young man. Thanksgiving often brings families together. He was just your average teen. Last year, it's when Laura and John Stack's family was torn apart. Their 19-year-old son, Johnny, was struggling with addiction. We were having dinner and he said, I just want you to know that you were right. I said, about what? He said, you told me that marijuana would hurt my brain and it's ruined my mind and my life. And I'm sorry, and I love you. And three days later, he was gone. His parents say he was dabbing, inhaling marijuana concentrates from hash oil with extremely high doses of THC, the psychoactive ingredient that makes you feel high. There's no good medical reason to use anything that strong. Dr. Rav Iveker is a supporter of medical dabbing, marijuana and um, CBD products, but he says teens who dab are playing with fire. With uh, high doses of THC, it, it can potentially cause uh, psychosis, schizophrenia. Since our brain is not fully developed until we're in our mid-20s, it can be a problem. Since legalization, suicide toxicology reports on older teens showed pot was the most commonly used substance, higher than alcohol, antidepressants, or opioids. Marijuana binds to the very receptor in the brain that's helping to control brain development. Dr. Thurston is an addiction that. psychiatrist at Denver Health who treats 500 teens a year. He says 95% of them have cannabis use disorder. Has the state done enough to keep marijuana out of the hands of kids? Well, I think that we're clearly failing to do that. Um, so past month, marijuana use in Denver is about 25%. In the state as a whole, it's about 20%. And um, so teens are having uh, easy access to this. And Colorado continues to set marijuana sales records, more than a billion dollars worth since the COVID-19 pandemic began. And there are so many messages that kids hear that it's safe, it's legal, it must not be harmful. And their perception of it is so wrong. The Stacks are now trying to raise awareness one family at a time through Johnny's Ambassadors, exactly. a group they've set up to educate parents on the dangers of underage marijuana use, something they say their son would have wanted. I know we've saved lives and Johnny really loved helping people. Altruism was very important to him, and we can do this and help him help others. There is currently no law limiting marijuana potency, yet there is the exception of edibles. This summer, the state found in a report that most marijuana products on the market right now contain high levels of THC, and it's having an impact on the mental health of young people. The state says that it's doing spot checks with marijuana retailers and providing funding for educational campaigns to keep it away from kids, yet clearly it's still getting into their hands. In Denver, John Glasgow, 9 News. There is always help out there when you or someone you know needs it. Colorado Crisis Services has a 24-7 helpline. Just call 1-844-493-8255. You can also text Crisis Services or call the National Suicide Prevention Line.